Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be discussing why you need a chastity cage. We have a nice Christmas mood going on so you know it's just like a perfect time to discuss your need to wear a chastity, isn't it? Anyways, the first problem, I mean the first issue that you probably cannot deal with if you need a chastity cage is that you cannot control yourself, you know? Like, you are too addicted to watching certain types of videos, maybe? Or you're too addicted to objectifying other people? Or, you know, you just cannot, you just cannot, like, control your thoughts. And it's always better or easier to control the your body or, like, your outer reality than what's going on in your head. So you know, just put that cage on. <laughs> Don't deal with your thoughts, just put that cage on. No, but anyways, so definitely, if you're struggling with knowing how to manage your urges, I definitely recommend putting on a chastity cage because it's really going to make a difference in a way that there's like a, you know, step in between that you need to do to release, right? Like you have to open and clean it and all of this and at one point you're just gonna be like, oh, like screw this, like I'm just not gonna do it at all, you know? So it's kind of giving you that middle step in between, like it's a similar thing when you're dealing with addictions, like for example, you're addicted to smoking, so you be you make it a little bit harder for you to reach for the cigarettes, right? So like you're going to, you're going to make it a little bit harder for you to reach down there, right? Anyways... <laughs> That was like the number one reason why I need it, right? And what else do we have there? Number two reason why you need a chastity is when you want to sissify yourself, when you want to become a girl, when you want to just completely like give up your masculinity. Um, that is a perfect place to reach for a chastity cage because it's just going to like make the thing whole like tucked in, you know, like smaller and it's not gonna bother you, you know, like sometimes I'm thinking for myself like how do men, actual men, not like the men that watch my channel, but anyways, how do actual men, um, live with it like hanging in between their legs, like I just could not imagine for the life of God, I could not imagine like living with that. So like, you know, just if you just lock it away, like it's less annoying, right? Like it's so much less annoying in the first place. And whether you are doing it with the intention of becoming a girl or a sissy or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still um, going to be like less annoying, right? Because sometimes I'm just like, how are you guys living? Like, how are you guys living out there? Like, it must be really, like, bothering you. I could never live with it. Anyways. <laughs> so, next thing that I believe a chastity would help you with is getting into terms with being a beta or being controlled or being, you know, just not a fully functioning male right like not a fully functioning alpha male right so you're just gonna be put back in your place basically because like you know like you need that you need to be put back in your place since you um since you like to be controlled since you have to be controlled because like you cannot control yourself right so if a mistress is going to lock you up that's a sign for you to you know to sit down and listen you know it's really going to it's going to really change the way you see yourself and you see the world right like once you're married you're not gonna feel like this entitlement like this manly masculine entitlement like you're just not gonna feel it because it's going to like somehow mess up with your brain and you're gonna be like yeah like i'm actually not allowed to do things that other men can you know like i am a lower you know i am lower than that like i'm a beta right like that's what we talk about on my channel, right? I'm a beta, so... You know, I gotta be locked away. And that cage is there to remind you that you are meant to be locked away. 
all right so it's just like a little reminder for you and like a little sign of knowing your place right so that's why i always i always actually recommend getting a chastity kit as a gift to um your slave because it's in a way it's a sign or it's like a symbol of um control right like it's a symbol of um being locked away and not being able to you know not being able to be functioning like a real male it's a it's a really nice thing because for example like uh, when i have my submissive like it's great to give him gift him a cage because it's gonna remind him not only of like being beta but also of me you know also like of being submissive to me and it's just like a, you know it's just like when you get a necklace for your birthday or i don't know what like you know it's just like it's just like a pretty symbol and there are so many things you can experiment with chastity like so many different styles so and so you can even like engrave something on it so i think it's like a really great thingy to use and to implement into your thing i think every beta should like think about this because every beta who wants to you know wants to make this their lifestyle should think about getting one definitely like 100 percent like are you even are you even uh you know like how are you watching my channel without a chastity i don't get it like i really don't so <laughs> i'm literally thinking i'm gonna start my own chastity shop you know like a my own e-shop because we have to spread them around you know what i mean <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching this channel i wish everybody merry happy christmas maybe get a chance at the cage for christmas <laughs> and i will see you in my next video bye